Alrighty, alrighty. What is up guys, welcome back. As you can see, a different stretch of the river and we have something a little bit different for you. Last year we were gonna try to attempt to do a catch and cook out of every single species of the river that uh, we normally get, you know, grass carp, gar, uh, buffalo, stuff like that, silver carp. Today, we're hoping to check two more off of that list. Hopefully some gold eye and hopefully some big head. Usually the gold eye up here along the current seams and stuff like that, you can throw blade baits, get them with night crawlers, stuff like that. Not exactly sure how we're gonna get them, but hopefully we can stock some up for our catfishing back home because they're very easy to get up here usually. And then also we can try and taste one. And then we're also gonna come down here, maybe even float down there and try to get a big head with the old arrows. Might switch, I don't know. Those are the two uh, species we're going for right now. The big head and the old gold eye. Me and Scotty for now. And then we're gonna meet Sash back in the kitchen and have a fun one. Oh, we do have some night crawlers too. Don't know if I mentioned that, so. Um, blade baits, night crawlers, and arrows. Giving them the shabam is uh, the plan of attack today. Let's get her done. Well, good luck to you. Yee, doggy, it even stopped raining out here. Some bait, some gold eye, possibly a meal worth of gold eye, and uh, the old big head. Well, bam. Oh, that, there's a boat way up there. See? Where's he at now? Yeah. So this ride sign over here is the one we didn't see in the last video. And that ride sign right there is the one we did see. And the old uh, ranger came down, lit us up, told us to meet us at the boat ramp. If you guys didn't watch that, I'll link that below. But yeah, he wasn't too happy. But anyways, all right. Gonna cast off the front, Scotty, or what are you thinking? All right, so first things first, I got the death rig set up on this with the bottom bouncer. We're spot locked up front, um, but they do catch some weird stuff up here because this is the last dam in the system of the Missouri River. So the fish can't get up higher than this and uh, never know really what you're gonna catch in the river. So I'm gonna just kind of halfway do a death rig. That'll sit there flutter in the current. I'm gonna loosen the drag a little bit so he can take it out. Could get a big old walleye or cat or something on there too. He's got a bobber rod up top of the night color. I got this one with the death rig on the bottom and we're gonna get you casting. Alrighty, alrighty. We're gonna start off with the smaller blade bait. I do have a bigger one on this other rod. See what we can get and see if we can knock two more species off the catch and cook finalist of the Missouri River. First cast luck. Come on, Sheila. I do really like the blade baits though. They create a lot of vibration. And if you have silver ones, they always look like shad. I think this along the current right here is gonna be the money. I just got whacked. Did you really? Yep, right along the current. On that slow pull, like I told you. The blade bait I like to do, like three cranks like this, and then a slow pull, and they love it. Yeah, that didn't take long right along the current here. There's like three or four that have been right here. Give them the figure eight. Just kidding. That'd be funny. Oh, I saw that. With this over cloudy, kind of not sunny condition, it might be hard to shoot a big head, but we're not going home till we do. We've done grass carp, gar, um, catfish. We've done, oh, just got hammered. And that will be a good eater. Apparently up in Canada, Canada, these are a delicacy to eat too. So that is the old gold eye right there. And they are sure fun to catch. They hit like a freight train and they work great as cat bait. So we're gonna try to double up, get some uh, kitty bait for back home and also get a tasty meal. Well, I don't know if it'll be tasty, but we're gonna try to make it tasty. There we go. All right, first on the day. Two for two. Oh, this one's a little bigger, I think. Or he's hooked weird. Upsy daisies. That's a good one. Cat fishermen pay a lot of money for these for bait, and they do work great. Open sesame, kaboom. You bent the tail off, oh, you have nothing left. Really? So good bait too, they'll make it work.
Okay. All right, so what we're trying to do, obviously this water's coming out. This uh, electric side's also generating water right here. There's a big, big current seam right here where this one meets this one, and they like sitting in that kind of reverse seam right here. That's what uh, these gold I like a lot, if you can find that current seam right next to it, or even a little seam that goes back the other way. Usually it works pretty good. But the blade bait's a good, uh, good weapon of choice for these little fellers. All right, we're gonna switch up. Big old silver one. This one's about twice the size and it's silver. So it replicates a shad more. It does have a lot more vibration and weight to it though. So we're gonna see what we can whip up. Got it boy. Oh, on the bobber. Harley. Oh, I just got hit right here. Double? Dude, he freaking hammered it. I was barely moving it watching yours. Don't come off. Hey. Oh, he missed it. Oh, that's a small one. Yeah. I don't even know if I was moving it. I was looking at yours. Don't matter, you got Kaboom. Good work, Scotty. I'm gonna try to go a little bit slower now. I didn't even see the bobber go under. I saw the fish jump. I'm like, oh, fish. And I saw my bobber in the air with it. I'm like, oh, my fish. Well, I think we done wore them out. And I think it's getting late enough in the morning that they're not really coming up. Because we're even seeing less of them, so. What do we got? One, two, three. We got four total. We're going to try to get species number two on the day. The old big head. Yes, sir. I love that. That's how you know you a real dog, ain't even happy with the performance, you know what I mean? Oh yeah, yeah. See that flock of them right there? Yep. We're listening to the Husker game. Three, two, one. Got him. Got one. Dead stick him. Right in the noggin. We got some dinner, Scotty boy. Uh, I think there's, there's a... Pod right there. Yeah, I, there might be some right here too. Dude, with that sun, they were hard to see. They were impossible. <laughs> the one was swimming right at us. It's like, it's not a good angle to shoot at, but I'm gonna try to peg him right in the domer. We need him. I don't think you're gonna pull out. Did you have a shot? We need to go back. He ain't a big boy. Shish kebab him right through the domer. All right, we got some dinner. Nice old big head. They actually have some pretty clean meat too. Little cyclops looking eyes and this is some odd creatures. And we're watching the Husker game right here, and we also have it on the radio. We're playing Colorado today. Let's go 402 Scurs. Don't worry, Scotty, I'll deliver. All right, now we can turn the Husker game back up. Colorado, this rivalry is the equivalent of Michigan, Ohio State, of Texas, Oklahoma, Buffaloes, Cornhuskers, and here we go. Kick off, baby. Johnson, the deep man, he'll start. He'll throw it on third down. Goes through his progressions underneath. Oh, first down. Let's see if we can watch a touchdown together right here. 50 plus times today. And they'll run it again. We got sacked. Never mind. On again, and the first down plus some. And he was rolling to his left, Gus flips his hips around in his shoulders, and that ball is perfectly thrown. Hunter lays out. Beautiful job by the two superstars. First down. All good. Made it. Ready? Three, two, one. Got one. I nailed one. You might be able to get these. I missed. I'm just going to hold this one. I think he's dead on the bottom. Oh, dude, that's a giant school. Oh, my gosh. Shoot in that school. He might be able to get two. Oh, doink! <laughs> I like the squat to try to get a better angle to get two. <laughs> All right. Got some more big head meat. You squatted so low, you hit him on the underside, Scotty. Uh-oh, he's about to fall out. Oh, I'll step on my boat. Get him in. Oh, rip. Had him. Oh, no! Oh my God. I was just about to say, look at the coloring on this one. And I guess, oh my God. You need a new arrow. <laughs> well, we went two for two for him, oh for two real quick. <laughs> God dang. Alrighty y'all, 
mission successful. Uh, well, a little bit unsuccessful. We hit two and then we lost two real quick. So uh, we ended up with two big hits and what we get? Four, four. Gold gold So we're gonna try a nice little tasty meal. Kind of odd catch and cook, but um, we're gonna go back, watch the game, clean these fish real quick, enjoy the rest of the Husker game. Alrighty, alrighty, two gold eye, two big heads. Uh, we're gonna use the other two gold eye for bait and then we're gonna whip these up, meet you in the kitchen. Alrighty, got the old gold eye and some big head fillets right here. We're gonna clean this table and we're gonna meet y'all in the kitchen. Alrighty y'all, and we are back from our trip, the big old dam, and we're doing something special. A kind of trash fish catch and cook. Got the old sash, and as you can see, we got some pretty white meat here. Now this is just the big head. I tried to do the best I could with getting the bloodlines out and stuff like that. And the gold eye, I actually used as bait. So we're just trying the big head today. The gold eye will be for a different episode, but we also got some other stuff that we're gonna mix in and try to make it gourmet. A trash meal gourmet style. So um, we're gonna get to her. I already did some prep work and we also are going to be using the new smoker, so. Sash, what you think? I'm ready. It's actually pretty white meat, too. For being big head trash fish, this is actually kind of like a walleye filet. I missed a little spot right there. But um, we're going to clean this up just a little bit more. We are just trying it. We're not making a huge meal out of it, so. Trash meal, gourmet style. Let's do it. You can get these at your local hy -Vee. It's your seasoned red skin potatoes. We've never tried them. They smell pretty good, too. I almost lost the wiener. Alright, while she's working on the wieners, we're going to work on the fish. Now, some of these do have a little bit of bones in them, but I'm hoping with the smoker, kind of like a smoke carp, it'll kind of disintegrate the bones within them. Not exactly sure if it's gonna work. Like I said, we're just experimenting with the smoker. We just got it, so this is our second video, but um, we're gonna try it. So there's the lineup. We got some Italian Parmesan, butter garlic, and this is a new one. Um, it's kind of, I saw it had chicken on it, so I was like, chicken, fish, we're gonna give her a whirl. Get a little seasoning on these guys, and. See if we can turn her into a nice tasty meal. Yum. That was the lineup. We got sweet and sassy baked beans. Oh, and Dr. Pepper. Gotta drizzle it all over, cover the wieners up. And go. We're gonna see if we can whip something up that's pretty cool. All right, we're giving it a twist as our uh, cooking liquid. We're doing some sun-kissed. Next, our jalapeno. Lastly, our tomato. All right, how we sitting, Sash? Pretty good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's sour. Oh, I'm gonna try a smoked pickle too. Sometimes you can put the pickles on the grill and it kind of gives it a hard outside, but it keeps the juiciness in it. So we're gonna try it. Trying new things out here. Got the veggies, red potatoes with some seasonings and stuff, the weenies and beanies. Well, I guess actually brats. And look at that, the fish with the sun kissed. Give it a little bit different twang. We're gonna try some pickles, and it all starts with the upside down cherry blend pellets. I think it'll probably be good. Yeah, it's actually pretty white meat, as you guys can see right here. Alrighty, look at that fish marinade. Actually, it looks kind of good. 
Let it kind of soak up. I don't know. Maybe it'll pull the flavor out in a kind of slow cooker. And we're going to see if we can turn the big head into something pretty cool. Oh, yeah. I can't forget the lemon. Oh, that actually looks really good. Yeah, it does. Probably throw that on this side. We'll put the fish Inside. over the main burner, yeah. We're gonna add a little bit of zing to the potatoes. Oh, that'd be good. Yeah. There we are, right on top of the burner. And then we got the potatoes. And we're smoking. Good work, Sasha. Thanks. There you have it, I don't know. We just like to come up with random ideas in the kitchen and stuff. I'm also gonna try to smoke a pickle. It does look really good. I have had grilled pickles. I would assume it's gonna be about the same. Um, it kind of makes like a hard texture around it, but it keeps the juiciness within. So here we go. Ta-da! How's she looking, Sash? Pretty good. Potatoes are getting a little crispy oh, too. Yeah, that's definitely cooked. <laughs> a couple bones are coming out of that. Hopefully, yeah. they all just kind of fall out like that. Doesn't look like they're disintegrating very well, but at least they're falling out kind of makes like a crusty outside but they stay nice and juicy probably like five more minutes yep give her about five minutes and it should be good yeah. whoa there bud <laughs> he's like uh-uh eating on a gourmet meal we were gonna slow cook her but uh it's actually taking a little bit longer than expected so we're just kind of enjoying the nice weather out here. We got uh, about two more days of nice weather and then it gets down into the 40s and then the old ice fishing is going to be coming in. So I do want to know what your guys' favorite pellets are for the smoker. We're using the Cherry Blend right now. I don't even know what brand it is. I think I got it at like Menard. Oh, it's Pit Boss. But if you guys have any uh, favorite flavors or anything like that and you think it makes a difference within the taste of the foods or something like that, whether it's steak, chicken, pork, something like that, or fish for that matter, um, drop a comment down below. I think that there's like apple and depends where you're located. We're in the Midwest, so obviously in Nebraska with four too but um i think i've heard of like a fruit one i think there's like a barbecue or like a tournament series one i don't know drop a comment down below what uh pellets and what flavors you guys like using so. oh yeah oh yeah i would say that's looking pretty good a couple more minutes got her up to about it was i think 4 15 or so Alrighty, it is time. Let's do potatoes first. Slide her on. Look pretty darn juicy. Not myself. <laughs> yeah, this should look good. Kind of like the peppers in there and stuff. Kind of gives yeah. it a little twist. Well, bam. Look at that. Actually, it kind of separated the bones from the meat and stuff. We might be able yeah. to pull it right off. Actually, smells really good, too. It does. And there you have it, the finished product. Looks pretty good though, for a uh, redneck mess around. What you think? Looks good. Yeah, it actually does kind of look pretty darn good. So um, we're gonna let her cool off for a second, dig in and let you know how the trash fish tastes. It's kind of like a char buffed wing, kind of you just Get the flavor inside. It's still real juicy, as you guys can see. Oh. All right. Whoa. Now that right there is a redneck deluxe trash meal. <laughs> Honestly, it looks pretty good. I know. All right. No, that's really good. Oh. Kind of spicy. Really? Yeah. See, it just peels right off the bone. Yeah. That's kind of cool. That's really good. It is spicy. Yeah. That's actually super good though. Look at this white meat. Big Head is actually very good on the smoker. I am very surprised. Yeah. We weren't exactly sure how this was going to turn out. The Big Head is very good. It is very, very spicy. Honestly, if you guys acquire Big Head one way or another, they are they are uh, filter feeders. So about the only way is to shoot them or potentially net them depending on where you're from and it's legal. You guys ever shoot some Big Head and you're nice and hungry and want a pretty good meal? Try her. Maybe throw some sun kiss in there, um, some jalapenos, some peppers. Uh, all in all, very impressed, very surprised also, so. <laughs> Can I help you? What's up, bud? Yeah, I know, it smells pretty good, okay? Easy. What do you think, Sasha? 10 out of 10. Yeah, it was actually <laughs> surprisingly good. Yeah. 
So another one down in the kitchen that we messed around and it actually turned out pretty good. So if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget that subscribe button. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace.